Hey guys, Florian Schiffer here with a video about the basics of Panda Power. In this video, we're gonna load a Panda Power network, run a power flow calculation, and look at the results. So this is the very basic basic of the basics, and um, there is already a video about this in version 1.x, and now we got version 2 already of Panda Power, where we changed, for example, from kilowatts to megawatts, and this is the reason why I did this basic video again. Also, I wanted to show you my cool new shirt here. So enjoy. Okay, so to get started, we go to pandapower.org, which is our website, go to documentation, and then we will be redirected to read the docs. And there we see um, some information about Panda Power. And if you click on networks here on the left side, you see all the networks which are included in Panda Power. And today we're gonna look at a simple network here, the simple for bus network which is shown here this network consists of four buses bus one two three and four of course because it's a four bus system um to bus number one there is an external grid connected then we have a transformer between bus number one and bus number two and between bus three and uh, two and three and three and four we have two lines being connected and there is a load attached to bus three and four and also a pv generator to bus number three and four as well so this is how it looks like and now we go into coding. To get all of the Panda Power networks, we just have to import Panda Power networks as NW, for example, and we also import Panda Power to run the power flow calculation. To get a network, we simply hit NW dot, in this case, the four bus system, and then we can print information about this, um, this, this network here by simply hitting print net. So you see here now, this Panda Power network includes the following parameter tables. In that case, the four buses, the two loads, the two S-gens, the external grid, the lines, the transformers, and some bus geodata, which is needed for plotting. You can also print detailed information about some elements here, for example, for, uh, for, for the buses by printing net.bus. And then you see the input data of this table in that case, for example, the voltage in, in kilovolt here is used for the power flow calculation. The names are for convenience. If you say in service is false, then this bus is not being taken into account in the power flow calculation and so on. You can print information about each of those tables here of, of these elements. For example, here the static generator are the PV plants in that case. And there you have the power, the reactive and the real power. Um, for the generators. In Panda Power 2, just a side notice, we changed the designing system uh, for the generators. So now this is positive and it was negative in Panda Power 1 and also in kilowatts. Now it's in megawatts. And um, this is the same for the loads. So the loads are also positive and in megawatts now. So those are the input tables. And if we want to get some power flow results, we hit pp run pp and then we can print um, detailed information for the elements by, for example, hitting net.resbus, and then we see the results of the power flow calculation. For the slack bus, where the external grid is connected, the P and Q values are being calculated for the other buses, the PQ buses in that case here, uh, the voltage magnitude and voltage angle in degree is calculated. If you have a PV node, for example, if you have a generator being connected to one of the buses, you would get results, uh, in that case, the Q and the voltage angle in degree where the P and V is fixed. Okay, so this is about the calculations. You can also print all of the informations now about the results by print net, then you see the results or the result tables here as well. So much about that. In the next video, we're going to create our own network with the Panda Power API.